Hi, I'm Tim. Please join me in this video as I discuss the FAA's map of where you can find your FRIAs or the FAA recognized identification areas. Let's get to it. This video is being filmed on August 6th, 2023. That's an important day because Remote ID, the topic du jour for RC modelers everywhere, <coughs> starts on September 16th of 2023. That's about five weeks away from here. Remote ID is a very big deal. If you're watching this video, you should have some idea what Remote ID is. It's essentially a methodology where the FAA will be able to track drones, quadcopters, RC models, helicopters, know some general information of their flight and more importantly their takeoff location. This information is broadcast while the drone or RC model is flying. Part of the remote ID ruling that became the final ruling allowed for the establishment of a FRIA. <clears throat> a FRIA is an FAA recognized identification area and what a FRIA is per the law a community-based organization like the Academy of Model Aeronautics can request a FRIA for certain AMA club fields. <clears throat> the process is being established by the AMA and the FAA. When a club field gets a FRIA, what that means is within the confines of the defined airspace of the club, <coughs> club members can fly their model aircraft without any remote ID electronics whatsoever. It is it, nothing's required to fly your models within a FRIA. FRIAs first started got issued and first began being issued in the um, second week of July 2023. There were some bureaucratic hangups <coughs> with environmental review and so forth. FRIAs are being issued. I can't tell you how many because I don't know, but our club in Georgia does have their FRIAs. Many others are being issued. I get emails from various people, so FRIAs are being issued. But keep in mind, the fact that FRIAs are being issued is really a non-event because remote ID, the regulation, does not become effective until September 16th of 2023. So prior to that, whether there are or aren't FRIAs just doesn't matter because nobody has to comply with remote ID. But the question keeps coming up, well, how can I find out where there are FRIAs? Well, today, the way you can do it, an easy way, is just email a club officer, ask, I'm <clears throat> Tim here, I'd like to know if you have a FRIA, they can tell you. But what the FAA is doing is creating a map that will have all this information uh, for FRIAs uh, with a lot of other stuff for UAS, um, Unmanned Aircraft System Pilots, to put all this together. It's called the UAS Data Delivery System. It's a separate website linked to the FAA website. It is an FAA website but it's an extremely data intense website that's being built as we speak. I look at the uh, uh, website from time to time, I can see more and more stuff being populated on there. I'll demonstrate it here in a minute. That's where you'll be able to go see where there are free is located in the United States, as well as other things like class B airspace, class C airspace, restricted airspace and so forth. Again, I don't see any free is on this map yet. I, I just haven't found any yet because the FAA's time is probably better spent approving FRIAs rather than populating the database. That should come later. But again, this data delivery system should be the place you go to find out where your FRIA is located. So let's take a look at this UAS data delivery system interactive map now. This is the FAA's website on FRIAs. The easiest way to get here is just to Google FAA FRIA, F-R-I-A, you'll get here. <clears throat> Discuss what is a FRIA, where are they? Just want to mention a little bit about community-based organizations, and this is how you go there from recreational flyers. It talks about FAA recognized community-based organization. They're important in the legislation because it goes back to 1986. The government likes to deal with community-based organizations for things of this nature. They have IRS tax exemption and so forth. And here are the four FAA-recognized community-based organizations, the Academy Model Aeronautics, First Person View, Freedom Coalition, Flight Test Community, and STEM C. Let's now take a look at the FAA's UAS data delivery system. We just click there from the FAA website. This is a work in progress. They're still doing it. The idea is to visualize unmanned aircraft system data on a single map. You can see it's loading a lot of information right now. This is what it looks like on August 6th of 2023. 
<clears throat> there are various buttons up here. You can do layers, um, information, bookmark, draw, so forth. And this will be, I guess, a single source reference for information for RC model drone pilots. Now the lines out here are probably the air route traffic control uh, sectors, so the FAA, that's how they divide it up. You can see there's a lot of green circles and red circles. The green circles are civilian airspace, probably at various airports. The red are restricted military of some sort. These are pretty easy to populate now because they're not going to change too much. It's a lot of work zooming, panning around on the database. I just want to show you that's still going up. And eventually you can get uh, information sheets on each little block here with what the airspace is, the altitude. This is Charlotte, North Carolina. And it looks like a lot of these blocks run to 400 feet. This is a look at the layer list. You can click or de-click various sections to show types of data on the map. In this case, Class B airspace comes and goes. Again, more red restricted airspaces. We can zoom in a little bit on Savannah. This is restricted airspace for the Hunter Army Airfield. And you can see the interstate highway system. There's just a lot of ways to produce the map. The purple line is the aircraft defense identification zone. Again, this whole database is just kind, kind of being built. <clears throat> Here is the flight reminder. It is DOD. The branch is the Army, Fort Stewart, various information on what that restricted airspace is. Thanks for joining me in this video. Remote ID is a hot topic. <clears throat> Frias are going to be a part of the discussion. Frias are being issued as this is being filled on August 6th of 2023. I don't know how many Frias will be issued by the implementation date of Remote ID by September 16th. We'll have to wait to see what happens on that. But Frias are being issued. The UAS data delivery system will be the place eventually when everything's settled down to find out where the Frias are located. Thank you.